Hey everyone, I'm Ava and welcome back to Delightful Dolls. Summer is around the corner, so I thought it'd be appropriate to make a doll bathing suit tutorial. This is a really simple craft, or at least in my opinion, so let's just get right on into it. So to make things easier for you guys, I actually created a printable. It has some bottoms and a top. If you want to print this off yourself, just click the link in the description box below. But if you can't print this printable, I will quickly leave the measurements for these two pieces so you can kind of get an idea of how you can make it on your own. And to start, I'm just going to cut these two pieces out. I also just want to let you know in advance that this pattern is for the original Barbie body type or like the original made to move Barbie body type. So if you have a tall, curvy, petite or other type of doll, you may have to alter the pattern a little bit. Let's start off with the bottoms. I start by finding some fabric that has a nice stretch to it and isn't too thick. You could even use material from an old bathing suit or something that would actually be waterproof. I place the pattern onto the fabric with the wrong side facing up. And with my pencil, I lightly mark around it. Now, because I want to be able to fold over and hem the edges, I cut a little bit past the line we just drew. Now you could carefully fold over and sew down the edges. It would take a lot of time, but it would be a nice finish. I'm personally just going to glue them over. Fabric glue would obviously be the best solution, but I personally don't have time to wait for that to dry. So I'm just gonna use my hot glue gun, but be very, very careful not to use From here, I'm going to place this on the doll and mark with my pencil on the sides where I need to sew these two pieces together. Now I fold the bottom so they line up and so that the wrong side is facing outside. And I'm just going to sew on the lines that I marked with a needle and thread. I cut off any extra fabric, flip it right side out, and place it on the doll. And there we have it, nice bottoms. As you can see, the hot glue gun honestly did a pretty good job, and I'm not against using it, it just probably won't last as long and isn't the ideal solution for hemming down the edges, but you do whatever best and works for you. And now to make the top. I grab more of that same fabric, and I have a very large piece this time. I place the pattern near the bottom and center of the long rectangle and trace around it. Now when I cut this piece out, I again, just like the bottoms, I'm gonna cut a little past the line so we can fold it over and hem it down later. But I'm also going to extend these four pieces here so that we'll have long strips that we can tie up. So now it should look something like this. Yes, I'm aware it looks a little crazy but believe me, it'll look good in the end. Just like with the bottoms, I'm going to fold over and hem down the edges once again using my hot glue gun just because it's what's quickest for me right now.
I know it doesn't look pretty right now, but if we flip it around and place it on the doll, tying it in the back and behind her neck, it looks pretty adorable. You could try to make bows, but because I hot glued over the edges, it'd be kind of hard to do that. I'm gonna cut off any long tails of fabric that are unnecessary. I think this bathing suit looks absolutely adorable and it was fairly easy to make. Surprisingly, the hot glue gun method worked way better than I could have even imagined and I'm really happy with how it looks. It probably wouldn't be the best bathing suit to actually put in water, but it definitely could still get wet, it just might not look so great. If you wanted a waterproof bathing suit, I'd recommend using an old bathing suit or fabric that is waterproof and maybe instead of hot gluing it, sewing it. But personally, I don't really put my dolls in actual water very often, so I'm just really happy with how this looks dry. The top does look a lot different than how the pattern looked. When I folded over the edges, I kind of just got rid of this. As you can see, there's a bit of a bump that goes out here. I kind of just made that flat and just made everything straight and forgot about these kind of like curves and bumps going on, which kind of gave it more of a sporty look, but you could also just keep the rounded edges as well. It's completely up to you. But if you followed what I did, your bathing suit should look something like this. Let me know what you think about this craft and if you're gonna give it a try for yourself. Before we end today's video, the shout outs for today go to Britt Griff, Alessio MN, and Yuna Choi. Thank you so, so much for supporting my channel. And remember, if you don't chance to get a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell and comment down below with the hashtag DD Squad, and you'll have a chance to get a shout out in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe as it really does help out my channel and we are so close to 200,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much. Anyways, see you all in the next one. Bye.